Well, let me explain the world order. Let me help you earn your spurs. underage in a motel by the Dallas Police Department on September 11, 1960. have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order. I think the new world order is emerging. When really a new world order can be created, it's a great opportunity. It was a phrase that I often used myself, that we needed a new world order. Those people who have been yelling, oh, the UN's going to take over global conspiracy government. Conspiracy theorists. They conspir they've been crazy, but now they must, they're right. Yeah, well, when Geithner, it's happening. When Geithner said he would be open to the idea of a global currency last exactly. week, yeah. th those conspiracy people had said and suggested that for That's years. Right. You're not wrong.
For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No expenditure is questioned, no rumor is printed, no secret is revealed.